What's up, YouTube? This is the Bob Illuminati. One more time with another fresh one. In today's video, we are not going to be doing a haircut. Instead, we're going to be discussing the art of all detachable blades on camera. We're in the classroom at Marvelous Beauty and Barber School. I'm fired up. The rest of the guys are all fired up. This is the real Victor Bobby I've been telling you guys about. Uh, this is Cortex, the guy in the back, the texting barber. This is Ezo the barber, my fellow YouTuber. I recommend you guys to check him out. Uh, uh, Ezo, 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 let these people know who you are. Yo, 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 it's your boy Ezo the barber, E-A-Z-O-O -O space the barber. Subscribe. Where are you right now? Are you taking the barber illuminated class or what? Yes, I hear the question. <laughs> the barber illuminated class. This is the Barber Illuminati class in session. In the classroom, the classroom version of the Barber Illuminati class. Ezo is a little camera shy. <laughs> you know, you know, he act like he don't hear what I'm saying. It's okay. It's our first time recording, it's all right. Maybe in part two, I'll get it right. But anyway, today, uh, are, are you done with your presentation? All right. Victor Barber, look me up on Busky. Book me, I'm available all day, every day. Hit me up. Uh, the texting Bob over there, he has no information online, so he has nothing to say. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to direct the camera to the, uh, to the, to the chalkboard, and we're going to discuss uh, the all detachable blade concepts. Uh, okay, bear with me. Uh, Jesus Christ. Bear with me now. I think that's good enough. No. Bear with me. All right. This video will not be edited. And this video is being recorded at Marvelous Beauty and Barber School in Waukegan, Illinois. We are not hard to find. Barber Illuminati. All right. Uh, on the board, as you can see on the left, I have the basic blades that are all the dashboard blade guys should have. Starting with the 5 0, 0, 0 OA, 1, 1A, one 1.5, uh, and 2, and 3.5. And now, to have an all the blade, to have a complete all the blade set, for my recommendation, this is what you need. Hello. Hey, give us a moment, okay? Is this your mom? Yeah. Is she here to run around you? No. <laughs> she has a desire to become a barber. Who wants to line it? You? How about you getting your haircut too? No. Okay, okay. Don't give us a moment, okay? Don't you need cash for haircuts? Uh, cash card, same thing. They both start with a C. Card. <laughs> <laughs> card, cash. I can't tell the difference. But anyway, the show must go on. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the job. A lot of interruption here, but it's all good. Now, let's get to it. Now, uh, like I said before, you need a 5 0, 0, 0 OA, 1, 1 A, 1 and a half, 2 and 3 and a half. Now, this is from the shortest to the longest. The longest to the shortest. No, how does the barber illuminati put his blend together? His fitting techniques together. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I know, like in between the three and a half and two. No, no they all blend into each other at an angle. All right, all right. So, for example, if I'm doing a ball fit, I'm doing a ball fit. This is the bottom portion. When I do my ball out line or whatever, I split the haircut, this bottom portion is shaved off. So, this is my uh, first guideline that I create with the OA. Now, in order for you to blend that space, you need your triple zero at an angle. I call it X motion, which means you can go in either direction, this way or that way, it doesn't matter. 
But the key is whatever space that you create with the OA, you leave very little space, I mean very little remaining space. So let's say if you create a gap this wide, for example, if you create a gap this wide, you can almost use this space up, 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 up to about 95%. So if you create a space this wide, the, the remaining of A has to be very little, very tiny. You see what I'm saying? So like you can't go all the way up to the line? No, no, no. If you go up to the line, you're going to completely wipe out the OA, right. which you already did. So you need to leave a strip of it. And then, but in order for the two blades to merge together, you have to approach the gap at an angle. The, so, so the OA is like enclosed? Like the regular enclosed? The OA is to magically open. Alright, alright, alright. So your first right. Your your OA so it's like the magic clip open. So you do open, middle, close. No, I, I do open first. Well, yeah, open. Then uh, what do you do with your magic clip? I fade, I fade up, and then my last has to be the bar, and then the um, last part. So you do open, middle, close, which means you open the blade all the way. Then you halfway open it. Then you close it, you remove the bottom line. Same concept. Right. Only this is open, which is the OA. Middle, which is the triple zero. The five zero is the close. Alright, I got it. Yep. So when you go through the steps, if it's not clean, you just repeat. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I heard you could dig too deep on certain things too when you start fading up. Is that true? Like no, you, you keep holes in it. No, you keep everything as an angle. When you create, when you create a guideline, you create your guideline straight up. If I, whatever space that I want, whether it's this much, whether it's half of it, it doesn't matter. I create a guideline just like I would create any guideline. So the goal is the, the blade, which is the next shortest blade below the OA, is a, is the triple zero. So I go into it at an angle. And they're gonna merge together. So you go from this way. Yep, that way. Whatever way that your senses direct you is fine. Right. The goal is to go at an angle into the gap. Don't wipe out the whole entire gap. You leave a little bit of it. So are you sort of kind of flicking out at the top? No. 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 All right. There's no flicking out. You just gotta. A lot of these things you're gonna figure out while you're doing it. You're gonna find all the little details as you're doing it. But flick out is not going to help. Flick out is a is a. It may be if you're using a larger blade, right, right. but with the shorter blade, there's no flicking out. You just do what you do. But anyway, uh, uh, let me use the red marker. So that's the first guideline. O A triple zero five zero. Before I move on, you see how high did I get with the O A gap? Yeah. Now you do the five zero just the same way. So you're gonna get right under the triple zero as well. On the same manner. Let's say you're gonna fade below uh, be, you know you do the OA triple zero five zero. You gotta treat you gotta go under the triple zero with the five zero in the same manner you did with the with the with the triple zero. So each step you do an X motion? X motion. Just back. Mm -hmm. Just clean it up first. Alright. 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 Five zero right below. You see what I'm saying? Wait, I'll count for It's okay. All I'm saying is okay. Okay. All I'm saying is you go this high with the OA creating the guideline, right? So you stay. You leave a little bit of gap from from one blade to another. And then you leave a little bit of gap from the from the triple zero to the five zero. So it's really just spacing. Right. So you don't. What I'm saying is you don't you don't you don't you don't stay too low. It's like going up the stairs. Oh, how can I say this? 
Okay. Let's say this is a this is the uh, OA, right? So you were gonna put the triple zero. No, let, me, let me put the OA at the same level. OA. All right, boss. How y'all doing? All right, Mr. Hey, thanks a lot. What I'm saying is the amount of space that, that remains is very tiny. Oh, okay, okay. So you're going to come below it as well with the 5-0. The little bit of space that, that you left is also very tiny. You don't leave a big gap. If you keep the, the blade below too low, it's not going to be soft enough. It's going to be a dark blade. You don't want that. So you leave the gap below very tiny. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So that would represent the first guideline fitting blade triple zero fitting blade five zero in order for them to merge together you gotta use each one of these blades these two blades as an, at an angle I call it X motion so whatever direction that your senses guide you that's how you go that's it and everything else is just a matter of practice and persistence really uh, that's how I do it so if you watch my videos about past that though. Well, we're gonna get to that easel. We're gonna get to that. All right, enjoy the rest of the day. Have a great day. Uh, okay. Okay, let's say we take care of the first guideline. We take care of the first guideline. Now we're gonna move on to the second guideline. Now, once you understand how to put the haircut together, it is a matter of you persisting now, practicing now. Because a lot of times it's gonna fall apart depending on the hair texture. You just know, hey, I just got to keep at it. That's it. A lot of people get turned off. Uh, I can't get it right. And then they just quit. That's not going to happen. So, okay. This is the second guideline again. So, the second guideline varies depending on the length of the top. So, you can either create this first guideline with the two or one and a half. So, if, if the top is lengthy, you might want to do a bigger blade. Then you gradually would come behind it with the one and a half. Same thing, same system. So one and a half. Are you, but are, before we move on to the next step, you know how you say you leave that little space for the uh, next blade? No, no, let's say this is my first guy that I created with the two. No, I'm saying, you said the OA, right? Right, the OA, I'm done, I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm saying though, you know how you left that little space? Uh -huh. So am I taking the next step from that little space up? No, you're gonna, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna use the OA one more time and that's going to erase the bottom line. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're very much going to be using the, let's say you do the two, uh, then one and a half at an angle, one A at an angle, one at an angle, and then until you get down to the OA. Sometimes, depending on the head texture, you might use the triple zero again, depending on how clean that you fitted the bottom portion of that line. That's it. And everything else is just a matter of you experimenting enough with it and persist. Other than that, it's not for you. He's not using this lesson right now. Some haircuts come out clean and then some don't. Do you make sure, uh, like, the first step, like how you want it or whatever before you move on, or do you just do the steps and then come back? And I do the steps, I can, I can see how clean it is. Sometimes I do this, the first steps about two times. I make sure it's soft enough to lay, the, to lay the foundation for the next level. I can already see what the, my number one concern is the, the bottom here. That's the big drama. So, once you take care, you can easily take care of the bottom portion of the first cat line. It gets complicated right about here. So if you don't do too much of a good job, there's a good chance you're going to have to pick up the OA and the triple zero again. But very soft by the time you get to them. So you would do, uh, this is the number two. You would do the one and a half, one A. Uh, slightly below, same concept I just explained. Slightly below the one. The OA. And then if you need to, you do the you do the triple zero again if it shows up. And then if you need to, if the blend is not satisfactory enough, you just repeat the same steps. Sometimes you have to repeat the step about two or three times. It's just what it takes. So you you fade it down with the uh, Yep, you create a gap and you create all, you, all the blades that go that fall in that gap, you just use them, stack them beneath one another until the bottom line disappears. 
Alright, alright. That's it. I kind of feel like that now though. That's why. Bingo. So all you have to do is figure out how you relate it to what you already know. But Mr. Uh, Mr. Greg has a whole other concept of fading, so it's a whole other foreign world to him. He doesn't cut like that at all. All right. Any other questions? I think I got it for the most part. All right, you just uh, need some bits. I got it too, man. I am saying before I got it. No, he understand how to put it together now. It's just a matter of practice. Yeah, sure. That's a good thing. All right, YouTube, unfortunately, you cannot ask me a question, but this is the first Bob Illuminati recording in the classroom session. Comments? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Victor Bob has said in the comment side, you can uh, ask questions. If it's something that I miss, please feel free to ask questions. Uh, also, you can reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, you already know, for, you, for, the, for those of you, Who's been active on the channel? You know how to get in contact with me. Once again, this is a Barber Illuminati production. Feel free to look me up on Instagram, Barber Illuminati.